Today, me and my brother Milo are competing in a new versus pro KFC build battle challenge to see who can build the better KFC. But what happens when these greedy villagers get impatient? That's why I'm going to start building my pro modern KFC right now, because whoever has the highest rating at the end of the build will win, and the loser has to pay the ultimate price, Milo. Well, I'm not worried, because I'm totally winning this one. No way, I'm already starting building my foundations, and I'm building it out of smooth stone. It is the perfect block to use because it's nice and sturdy, and it looks like concrete does in the real world. And in the real world, KFCs are always made out of the strongest concrete. What? No way! I've been to so many KFCs and they're just made out of dirt and mud! What? Milo, that is not what KFCs are really made out of. What kind of KFCs have you been going to? Just the really good birdie KFCs. They're extra scrumptious because they do fried birdseeds. That sounds disgusting. My KFC will only serve the most delicious fried chicken, as well as french fries and some sodas and milkshakes as well. Yeah, well, my place has that too, but it's just pretty much better. Ew, by better, Milo, do you mean bird-flavored and all gross? Yeah. There's no way that the customers will order that from your restaurant, Milo. These guys are going to be villagers, not birds. So that's why I'm making my restaurant all the kinds of foods that villagers would love to eat. Villagers love to eat fried chicken. It's one of their favorite foods. And that's why my KFC is going to specialize in it. I only have to build this last little back bit of the foundation. And then I can get started on the big grand entrance. My entrance area is going to look so cool, Milo. It's going to have a real popcorn bucket sticking out the side. I need to grab some red concrete and some white concrete in order to make it. First, we need to pick a huge area to make this in. I think this is a pretty good start. It's nice and big and it can have a big KFC sign on it. We'll need to place these concrete blocks out in each direction. This is going to be the biggest KFC bucket in the entire world. Villagers will come from miles and miles around just to see it in person. Okay, now that the shape is already outlined, I need to start building it upwards. KFC buckets can be pretty tall and that's all part of the design. If this bucket is tall enough, the villagers will see it from miles away and they'll be drawn to the lovely smell of my fried chicken, which means my customers will love my restaurant so much and rate it really, really high on Yelp reviews. Yelp reviews? I only have tweet reviews. Tweet reviews? Milo, you gotta get all the reviews. That's gonna make it a lot harder for you to get a really high five-star rating rating. It could cost you this entire competition and cause you to have to pay the ultimate price at the end, whatever that ends up being. No way! I will not be paying the ultimate price because I don't need the internet to make my restaurant famous. The villagers are just gonna tell each other how amazing it is! What? Do you want them to make the five-star rating on little pieces of paper or something and pass it around? No, Chip! They're just gonna tell their friends about it and then bring them here! Mm, I don't know, Milo. Villagers can be kinda bad at talking to their friends. That's why you need to help them along by making an awesome restaurant. That's how you really get them talking. Just like this awesome KFC bucket that I'm already making. It's looking so good. I can't believe it's coming along so quickly. Quick, I'm gonna make the entire restaurant inside this big bucket area. These villagers will have never eaten inside a KFC bucket before, so it's gonna be so exciting for them that they'll rank my restaurant really high just because of that. And that's not even counting the amazing food that I'm going to serve them on the side. Yeah, that doesn't even look like a KFC place. It looks like the amazing digital circus. Hey, that's because I haven't built the other parts of it yet. Don't judge it before you see the finished product, Milo. When I'm done with this KFC build, it is going to look so perfect. You're going to totally eat your words. And then you're going to eat some of my delicious fried chicken. Well, I think it's a circus tent and that you're a clown. No way. The only clown coming here is going to be Ronald McDonald crying because he's not going to sell any more burgers after I open this place up. What the? Chip, you are not going to 
gonna be rich from this KFC. It's gonna make you broke. No way. It's not gonna make me broke. It'll make me so much money. And even if it did make me broke, that's just a price I have to pay in order to get really good reviews. I'm not about to lose this competition, Milo. I need to be the best reviewed KFC place ever. Otherwise, I will not get good ratings and I will have to pay the ultimate price, remember? Chip, do you even like KFC? Yeah, I love it so much. And my KFC is going to sell cookies, so it'll be my favorite KFC in the world. I also need to make some big fried chicken on top of this bucket. Let's see what blocks we can use for it. Oh, I totally know. Let's use oak planks. Even though this isn't actually a fried chicken block, it still has the exact same color as a crispy, crunchy, golden KFC wing. By building in oak planks as well as some stripped oak wood on top of my giant KFC bucket, I I help make sure that this entire restaurant looks exactly like a real popcorn bucket from KFC. We also need to make sure we add the chicken bones, so let me get some bone blocks just like this. I'll need to make sure we build it really realistically, so the bones need to be nice and sturdy. This way, the villagers know that when they grab the KFC, it will not fall off in their hands, even though it'll totally fall off the bone from how juicy and tender it is. Why are you building popcorn? They don't even serve that at KFC! Milo, I'm not building popcorn, I'm building popcorn chicken, one of KFC's most famous menu items. I order it every single time I go there, don't you? Well, yeah, I really love the popcorn chicken, but it's not my mostly favorite. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you would just order the birdseed milkshake and the dirt burger. Well, you would be ordering the loser milkshake. Hey, what? I would not order the loser milkshake, Milo, they don't even serve that. Maybe at your KFC. KFC they might though. Hey, that's rude! Sorry Milo, I don't mean to be rude. I'm just really pumped to totally win this competition. I bet once these villagers come and rate my KFC, it's gonna be the favorite KFC in all the world. I've already built a big drumstick on top of my bucket, but now I'm going to build a chicken wing. This is so cool. I can even build it out of a slightly lighter shade of wood. This way it matches really, really nicely with the drumstick I've just made. I bet they're totally gonna love this Milo. It needs to be nice and muscly meat so that the villagers get nice and strong when they eat it. The villagers are gonna get sad when they see your KFC because it smells bad. What? Milo, that's just because I haven't started cooking yet. Whoa, you've already made the sign? Okay, I guess I better hurry up a little bit. Now I'm going to grab some gray concrete. This way I can start building the sides of the KFC. I need to make sure I build this in a really calculated way. I do not want to just start throwing random shapes out there. That would be a really bad idea. By making sure I only build the perfect amount on either side, I help make sure this KFC will be designed perfectly. With no flaws and a perfect 10 out of 10 design, the villagers will be sure to rate my KFC a perfect 5 star. Keep dreaming, buddy. When I'm the richest KFC owner in the world, I'm going to buy your KFC restaurant and I'm going to make it into a swimming pool. What? A swimming pool? Ew, that's gross. Are there going to be bits of chicken floating in the water or something? No, that's yucky. It's just going to be places for people to hang out on a hot day. But my KFC will be a place for people to hang out on a hot day. I'm going to have ice cold soda machines in my KFC where any villager can come in and have the most delicious soda they've ever had. Hey, I'm going to do that too. Okay, Milo, I'm happy for you to give it a go. I don't think your sodas will be anywhere near as good as mine. My design of the KFC also means that it's a way bigger restaurant than yours is, so I can fit a lot more space to have a lot more things inside it, like more soda options and a bigger seating area. I also need to make glass windows. I think if I make the glass windows a cool white color, it matches the white, red, and gray color of the entire restaurant. My KFC is so fancy that it has a signature design Design, which is the exact same as the KFC colors. It's really cool how my pro KFC is going to turn a little chicken popcorn bucket into a giant restaurant. I need to start working on the kitchen area though, so I'm gonna start making the floor for it right here. Well, my soda machine is gonna have Pepsi and Mountain Dew. What? Mountain Dew? Milo, do you mean Mountain Dew? Milo, you're a bit of a mountain buffoon because you need to learn how to say all these soda names properly. How are you going to know what the villagers are ordering if you can't even understand what they're saying? Well, that's a pretty good point. I'm going to have to read up on all the KFC 
stuff. Yeah, it would be pretty bad if the villagers order a Fanta and you give them a planter, which is just bird seeds or something. Oh, no! That would be bad and I would definitely get low reviews. Oh, yeah, really low reviews. And I don't think you can get many low reviews before the restaurant gets officially ranked as a zero star and nobody ever comes to it again. That would be the worst option ever and you would probably lose all your money. Not to mention, Milo, if you get rated a zero star, they could arrest you for almost poisoning people with your disgusting food. Oh, no, that sounds like a really bad situation. I'm now gonna work really hard and grind all day to make this the best KFC ever. I don't think you'll be able to do it, Milo, because the best KFC will be right here, just across the build zone. I need to make sure I get started on building a large quartz area. This is where the kitchen counter will be, where everyone will come up and order their delicious menu items. I think it can wrap around right over here. It needs to be right in front of where everybody walks in. That way, they will enter my amazing restaurant and see the menu so they know exactly what to order right away. There will be no confusion and hope Hopefully that means everybody orders even more things. I need to make sure I hurry it up a little bit though. I'm taking so long building this already. I'm gonna go twice as fast now because if I don't and a villager comes randomly over before all the villagers arrive to order the food, I could be in real trouble and they will not like it if I do not have food ready for them. They will totally rank me zero stars if that happens. Luckily, I'm moving along way quicker than I thought I would and I'm almost done with these back walls. This this entire wall can be fully red. I think red concrete is the perfect look for this wall. Perfect. And we can also finish this wall quickly. This restaurant would not pass health code inspections if it didn't have a wall. Then bugs and gross stuff could totally just fly inside. That would be not safe for any food I serve these customers. So to make sure my KFC is really safe, I have to finish the walls before I add any food to this restaurant. I also need to harvest my own chickens. Only the best chickens will be served in my KFC so we need to make sure we harvest it ourselves just to make sure we do a really good job with it. I'm moving along with this back wall so quickly. I can almost taste the items that I'm about to put on this menu. The menu needs to hang from this part of the wall right over here. We need to get some chains and we also need to get some hanging signs. Hmm, what's a perfect color? Oh, I think birch hanging signs will be perfect because then we can place them on these chains just like this, but it won't just be the end. Birch color is not the same as the regular KFC. Instead, once we put the sign down, we can grab some red dye and some glow ink sacks. This way, whatever we write on this sign will totally be glowing and bright red. Let's place down all these chains and all the signs and start thinking of what items we want on our amazing massive menu. The first item that will come up on my menu will be the KFC chicken tenders. This will be a really big bucket and I think we need to make sure that this is only $3. It needs to be really, really cheap so that the villagers can afford to come here and order it as much as possible. Next, we totally need a chicken bucket meal. Yeah, oh, this is going to be so awesome. We'll even add an exclamation mark so they know how crazy it is. It's a bit bigger than the chicken tender bucket, so we'll make it $5 instead of the $3. We, of course, also need some french fries. My french fries are going to be so delicious and crispy. And wait, I totally forgot to put a price. They need to be the cheapest thing on the menu, so they will only be a dollar. Of course, we also need to sell a burger. This can be a chicken burger or not. It's actually up to the villagers to decide. We will also serve Pepsi Cola at my amazing establishment. This can be really cheap, only $2, but it can't be as cheap as the french fries. Those need to definitely be the cheapest. Let's also serve some Fanta for only $2 as well, and we'll naturally make this red and glowing. I'll leave the last two signs blank, just in case I think of any really good ideas before the restaurant is set to open. For now, we really need to quickly build this eating area. If I grab these acacia tables and I grab some chairs that are red as well, just like these red cushion chairs, we can make an amazing seating area. There can be so much space. We have no idea how many villagers will come to this KFC. So we need to prepare just in case there are 
thousands of them. This restaurant cannot have long lines because if there are long lines, we will not get high ratings. Nobody likes waiting in line for hours just to get KFC. That's a terrible idea. If we make anybody wait for longer than a couple minutes, our ratings will be so low that we will never open again. Luckily, these tables are so quick to place. So by adding them right over here, we help make sure that building this seating area is the quickest thing I've ever done. Look, we already have enough seating for almost 50 villages. That is so many. I don't think we'll see 50 villages in a while or at least until the opening time. I have no idea how many could come around. Before we do open though, we need to make a roof. I think the roof can wrap around just like this. This roof will be kind of flat, but it also needs a staircase shape at the very end, just like a classic KFC roof. If we want these villages to instantly know exactly what kind of restaurant we're building right now, we have to make sure it looks just like a classic KFC. See, if they woke up and it's some weird experimental thing, they would be really confused. That's why the main crazy feature is the giant chicken bucket. It's already a really famous part of KFC, so the villagers will not be confused about what it is or what it's doing here. They might be amazed, but they will certainly understand exactly what's going on with it. Now I just need to place these final layers of stairs, and then we can put quartz all throughout this place. We have to make sure we don't miss a spot. I'm not going to have a leaky roof. If I had a leaky roof and it rained or snowed, because we are in the cold mountains after all, the water would totally get through the ceiling and land on the chicken or even worse, the customers. I know if I was in a KFC and water or snow landed on my head while I was trying to eat a nice bucket of chicken wings, I would rate that place so low that it would close forever. I have a feeling those villagers will do the same thing if they come here and water gets dripped on their head. That's why we have to try really hard to make make sure it does not happen. And the way to do that is by quickly finishing this roof as fast as we can. And done. Wow, that roof went quicker than I thought it would, but now I need to go even faster if I want to make this kitchen in time. Currently, it is very plain, so I have to add as much as we possibly can as quickly as we possibly can. I need to grab some deep slate stairs to make my classic heat vent. That way, the smoke from frying all this chicken will not float around the KFC. That would be so embarrassing. The villagers would cough and splutter and they totally leave. We also need to grab some cauldrons and instead of hot oil, we're gonna fill them with hot lava. That way these KFC wings will cook twice as quickly and we can serve twice as many customers. That's such a good idea. I'm really proud of it. This way the wait times for my restaurant will be shorter than any other wait time in the entire world. We need to have lots of kitchen drawers over here. This way any storage that we need to do inside the kitchen, we can do it really quick. I think we also totally need a red kitchen sink or maybe even a couple. This way, anybody that works at the KFC can really easily wash their hands just to make sure this place is as clean as possible. I'm also going to grab two different colors of fridges. We'll place them just like this. The black fridges will be where we keep all of the potatoes for the french fries and the chicken and dough for all the chicken wings. The white fridges will be where we keep our soda and our milkshake ingredients. That way we keep them separate, which is a lot safer for people to eat. You do not want to store raw chicken and and sodas together. That is an accident waiting to happen. And luckily, I'm not gonna wait for any accidents. Instead, I'm gonna work towards the most amazing successes here. This place is coming along so well already. I need to grab some flower pots to decorate this place nicely though. I think this one could even be perfect. Look, it has custom flowers all inside it. This way, our kitchen looks nice and friendly to the outside, making sure that anybody walking into this KFC immediately feels nice and calm and relaxed. Relaxed customers all always order more food. This way, if we keep everybody as relaxed as possible, we can sell as many things as we can. Let's have big examples of what's on our menu all the way up here. We can have every different kind of chicken bucket, as well as two french fries. This way they know that we have lots of fries to spare. We can also start cooking some of our KFC chicken tender buckets right over here. We'll need to grab some raw chicken and cooked chicken as well. This will show that these stoves really work. The raw chicken can be here and the cooked chicken will be on the side, ready for any customer to take once they've ordered, of course. This cash register needs to be a lot beefier than the other ones I've built before. I have to make sure I do not accidentally build it wrong. We need to label this a cash register just so that everybody knows this is where you need to come if you want to spend your money. We can also add a couple more over here. This way we can serve as many villagers as possible in a really quick amount of time. It helps make sure we will not run out of space for anybody. I might even move this cash register over to the side a little. 
That way, the villagers can come and speak directly to the people cooking the orders. Today, that'll definitely be me, though. I do not have any employees here. We also need to grab white and red shulker boxes and put a big storage area here on this wall. We can load a bunch of emergency spare chicken supplies inside of here, just like this. This way, we'll never run out of ingredients, so nobody can ever come and try to order something and have it be out of stock. That's one of the worst things you can do to a customer, and we're only nice to our customers here. That's why they're gonna rate my pro KFC so high, and they will not make me suffer in any way. I'm totally gonna win this thing. I really am not sure how much time I have left, so I need to get going on this second part of the roof really fast. If I don't finish this in time, this could be a real disaster, and I'm not gonna let that happen, not on my watch. What? Why do I hear a weird villager noise right now? Hello? Oh, um, hi, sorry, we're not open right now. Sure, I don't care. Um, sorry, sure, you're a very weird looking villager, by the way. That is rude. Oh, I'm so sorry, I should never insult a customer. Um, I guess I can serve you right now, but I'm kind of in a rush, so would you be able to order something small, please? Sure. Oh, uh, okay, sure, let me do that right now. I don't have a Pepsi making station yet. Let me quickly grab a brewing stand as well as some potions to make the Pepsi. What potions could I possibly use as Pepsi? I guess this one's the same color as Pepsi. I'll just put it inside these brewing stands and okay, I can give this potion of Pepsi to the villager right now. Here you go, sir, here's your Pepsi. Thank you for coming, I better get building now. Yeah, I also want a chicken bucket meal. Uh, okay, fine. I guess I can get you a chicken bucket meal. Um, let me just grab it over here. Here it is. Here is your KFC chicken bucket meal. Thank you for coming. Please go now. Huh, I want three million french fries. Three million french fries? That's not possible. Only someone really bad at math would order something like that. And hey, your eyes look a lot like my friend Milo. What? And you sound like Milo too, and this is not how you spell villager. Only Milo would spell something wrong like that. Milo, is this you? Ah, oh, Chip, you're the worst and I will get my revenge. Oh my goodness, Milo was totally disguising as a villager. He was doing it just to waste my time. This is bad, it means I've taken way longer to build this restaurant than I want to. I need to go so fast on this remaining part because Milo has wasted so much time distracting me. I'll admit, that was a very good trick and now Milo could have a serious advantage against me. I better make sure I build the final parts of my KFC restaurant as amazing as they possibly can be. Maybe even the best restaurant ever made. Made. That's the only way I can win this thing now that I've wasted so much time with that silly prank. I definitely need to build a second story to my KFC. Only noob KFCs with really low ratings have only one level. If I have multiple levels, I can fit many more customers in who can each give me so many more five-star ratings. This will help make sure I have the highest rated KFC ever. And it'll also definitely make sure that I win and nothing bad happens to me or or my amazing restaurant. And rather than having just a boring old regular second level to my KFC, my second level is going to be a huge eating area built on top of the chicken bucket. That is going to be so much fun for every customer to enjoy. I don't think any of the villagers that will eat at my KFC have ever eaten on top of the KFC bucket before. That is going to be a world's first. And hopefully because of that, they give me the highest ratings ever. Hey, Milo. Yeah. What do you think the villagers are going to rate your KFC? Probably a million out of ten because it's so fancy. Milo, that's not even a possible number that they even could rank it. What have you built that could make them rate it that high? Just some really good designs and stuff. I've got some great ideas. Okay, have you built the great ideas already, Milo? Yeah, but I don't really want you stealing them. Okay, fine. You don't have to tell me what they are just yet, but later on, I will find out what they are. And I hope they're enough to not get your restaurant totally cancelled. I do definitely want to be the winner to get all the villagers' money, but I still don't want your restaurant to be totally destroyed, no matter how bad a newbie it might be. Don't worry, Chip. My place is not newbie. It's actually gonna be yours. 
think I got a lot of vibes of this place. Okay, I can only hope that's true, Milo. One thing I don't have to hope about, because I'm so certain of it, is that my KFC does have amazing vibes. It's so awesome, and this bucket is going to be the best place any of these villages have ever eaten on. I just need to make it a little bit quicker. We really don't have a lot of time before the villagers show up, and that means I have to go quicker than ever before. Luckily, I'm almost done with the sides of this bucket, and once I finish that, I can move on to the main eating area. In order to make sure that these customers can actually reach up to that top level where the chicken bucket is, we need to build a huge and awesome majestic staircase that goes all the way around this main area. This might be the most majestic build I've ever seen inside a KFC, and it might be the most majestic build that any villager or customer or any person on earth has ever seen in a KFC. I really hope that's true because I would get so many really good ratings from that, especially if it leads up to an area that's as cool as my top eating area. Hmm, the staircase does not go up fast enough though. I think once it reaches this point, we can switch to stairs. This way, the villagers will be able to walk very quickly up and it will not block the menu and ordering area from sight. That would be pretty bad because if nobody could see it, no one would be able to order and we would not make any sales. And if we don't make sales, our ratings would be really bad. People would be mad that they don't have any food, which if you're a restaurant is pretty embarrassing. Let's move this red pot over here a little bit. I think we can expand the floor plan just a bit. This design is a pretty awesome part of what makes my KFC so special and different from all of the others. So we have to make sure we design it pretty well. That's why the quartz needs to go around like this. And finally, we can have an awesome chamber with white and red stripes. It can lead right up to the top. And I guess Milo was kind of right. This does look a little bit like an awesome circus, just like the amazing digital circus. Luckily, there are no clowns here, except for Milo when he realizes that my restaurant is going to get way better ratings than his will. Let's place the stairs all the way up to the top. We'll build a concrete scaffolding structure right here that the stairs can be placed on like this. Wow, we're placing them so much quicker than we ever were before. Once these customers reach the top, they're going to see the giant chicken wings and a huge open seating area. Let's add the final pieces of concrete, build this up, and then we can add the seating. This might be one of the final things we can build though. We are running out of time and I need to get preparing the food before the customers show up. If they all show up at the same time, I could be totally swamped and the kitchens would run out of space from all of the ingredients I would have to cook at the same time. Not to mention, I'm not a professional chef. I can't cook 50 different things at once. I can only do like four max. That's why I really need to hurry. If I'm caught off guard, I will not be able to cook for these villages in time and they will probably rate my KFC a zero star experience. And then even worse, they might go over to Milo's KFC. Oh, that would be a disaster. I can't imagine the villagers would like that at all. Milo, what is your KFC like right now? If a villager walks through that door right this second, are they going to be really mad about it or will it kind of be okay? A drive through What? I haven't made that yet. Uh-oh, I need to get going so quickly on this. Because I've tried to build this KFC so nice looking, I didn't even think about building it quickly. I've got to go faster than I've ever built anything before. I'm placing all this concrete down super speed style. And we also have to place a bunch of red concrete over here. This will be the area that these villagers will walk on before they sit down on the giant seating area I'm about to build. We only have time to build a couple more giant chicken wings as well. Any more? and the clock would hit zero, and so would my rating. See, I told you I would be a really good competition for your stinky restaurant. No way, Milo. You might be ahead in the building stage because you build a lot quicker than me when you build small, but I'm going to be way ahead in the customer satisfaction stage. No villager will ever leave my restaurant hungry because I'm going to sell them so many chicken wings that they will never have to eat again in their lives. What the? That's a pretty big guarantee. I'm gonna have to stock up on some chicken wings 
my thing. Yeah, you better get going on that, Milo. If you don't, the villagers will arrive and you'll have nothing prepared. This is fast food for a reason, and that's because it's so quick, not because it takes years to cook. This entire top section is looking better than I ever thought it could. I need to make sure I add these outer walls. I don't want these villagers falling off the sides. Imagine how low they'd rate this KFC if they fell off the roof. That would be a real disaster. I could make the best food in the world, and if a villager fell off the roof, they would probably still rate my KFC as zero stars. That would be a disaster. So I can't let a single villager fall off this roof. I've got to make sure this roof is as sturdy and strong as possible. And that also means I need to add some white glass panes. This will be an extra layer of fence-like protection around the top. If the villagers can't even get to the edge, they won't be able to fall off. So that's a very important way I am keeping every customer safe. I also really care about every customer at this KFC. I want every single villager that comes here to go away with happy stories to tell all their friends and all their Yelp followers. So this way I make sure nobody is ever dissatisfied. Now we need to actually add the chairs and tables up here. We've got to fill every single corner with as many chairs and tables as we can. This way we really save up on space and we stick to our goal of getting as many people inside this KFC as possible. Or at least as many people on top of this KFC as possible. I'm also going to place a big stained glass pane all around this little staircase section. Otherwise, the customers could totally just fall in, which is not the best idea for keeping all your customers safe. Which is why we're definitely not going to do it. Instead, I'll just place these last few tables and chairs before making something very big in the middle of my giant rooftop seating bucket. Now, because this KFC is going to be famous for my delicious golden crunchy french fries, I need to build big french fries on the top of this bucket. I don't know how I didn't think of this sooner. If we do not add the proper amount of french fries, the customers might not even realize that we sell them, which could be really bad. They are one of the best items on the entire menu, so when they order them, they'll rank it really high. If they don't order the highest quality menu items here, then they will rate this place a lot less high. And it is my duty to make sure they rate this place so high that they basically never want to eat anywhere else again. I'll add different fries going in each direction. One of them can even be leaning sideways like this. Oh wow, that is so funny. I love this one so much. I think the fries hanging off the sides of the box are very cool. I just hope people don't try and jump up them is all. Oh no, Milo, what is it now? I'm stuck under a table! In my KFC or your KFC? In my KFC, please help me! Okay, I'm gonna come inside, but just so you know, Milo, this means I will get a sneak peek at what you've built so far. I don't care, I just want help! Okay, I'm coming in, and whoa, Milo, how are you stuck under the table? I can't get out, please help me! Here, let me help you up. Milo, this KFC is a mess. This is so newbie. If even your tables are dangerous traps, these customers are not going to have a good time. They could be in a lot of danger and they might rate this place so low that you get shut down forever. That is really rude. Just you wait and see. The customers are going to love the food here. Get out. Okay, Milo, I have a couple final things I need to build before I am officially done. I just have to make sure I finish them before the first customer arrives in three minutes from now. Three minutes? Oh my gosh, I have so much to do! I know, me too, Milo. We better get going as quick as we possibly can. These french fries are looking pretty good, and I don't think I have time to make them anymore. They already look nice and curly and very golden and crispy. Now I need to add some final touches before I make the big finale. It's not just french fries that will be on top of my roof. I need to make a giant sign that tells people exactly what this restaurant is. I have to build an outside area first. We'll need to add a couple nice little gardens around the side, and wow, these flowers are so pretty. They're a mix of the colors red and white. That's why they're pink. It fits perfectly in with my KFC color scheme. I also need to add a bunch of chickens around the outside. This way, all the customers know that our chickens are caught fresh and cooked every day. They're not just frozen somewhere and kept for ages in a box. Ew, that would be so gross and it would be really mean. This is one of the nicest restaurants to animals that there ever has been. Okay, these flowers around the edge look pretty good. Now I need to make a giant 
parking lot, and I'm gonna do that out of black concrete. It is really dark, and I'll also need the yellow concrete as well. We'll have to make sure we build it as quick as possible, especially if we want the villagers to be able to park any cars they might have here. This parking lot is looking pretty good, but there's still some more things I need to do to it first. We've gotta add a big walkway that lets every villager know exactly where to go once they do park their car. I also need to add a curb. This way the villagers are nice and safe, and they won't accidentally drive their vehicles onto the side of the road. That could be a real disaster. Imagine if a villager crashes through the wall and gets engine grease all in the food. Ew, that would be so disgusting. I bet the villagers would hate that and they would definitely complain online, leading to less customers and lower ratings. I'm also just gonna replace this part of the floor with some nice quartz. This way they get a clean, cool entrance into the amazing KFC I'm building. Once I build these parking spots, I can actually build the giant KFC sign on top of the big bucket. This will have to be the final build as we now only have two minutes left before all the villagers show up. I've gotta build this parking lot real quick just to make sure that I'm not totally swamped by them. And if the villagers cannot find anywhere to park by the time this place opens, I will have zero customers, which would be the biggest disaster. If no customers come into my KFC, then I'll get a zero star rating because no ratings equals zero stars, which is the worst score you can possibly get. So I better really finish building these parking spaces and quick. Okay, I think this is about as many as I'm ever going to get. It is time now to make the giant KFC sign. These red walls that I built earlier came with a very good reason. This is what I will base the stands for the giant KFC sign on. I have already built them into the ground, so I have less to build right now. This saves me plenty of time, which is very critical right now. The villagers are getting closer and closer. I can practically hear the orders coming in already. This means we need to quickly build this sign and get inside the restaurant waiting for everybody to show up. I totally forgot to spawn the chickens as well. Let me just spawn a bunch down the side. Luckily, they can fly down, so they'll be totally safe once they reach the bottom. I just hope they can reach the bottom and walk around my area. Luckily, I've added some nice grass for them to play around in, so they should not get totally lost. I built this way too high. I need to break it down a couple blocks so that on the other side, I can build it equally quickly. Let's build a giant white concrete sign over the KFC bucket box. Okay, perfect. This is a good distance because now it has to connect up to the red concrete wall on the other side. Luckily, this also hits the ground too. I am so glad I planned this ahead. This means that it saves us plenty of time in this very important stage. I'll need to tap into my most talented spelling ability to write this sign as quick as possible. I know it takes Milo a while to write words, even words as small as KFC. I think I need to spell it as quick as possible though. That is my number one chance of writing this in time for the villagers to show up. Yeah, 30 seconds, this is bad. Luckily, I'm onto the sign writing stage, so I just have to write these letters perfectly. I really know I can do this. If I can't, this will be the end of my entire restaurant and everything I've worked so hard for. Not to mention, I could totally go to jail if these villagers don't like it. All right, that K is looking a little weird, but I think that's as good as we'll get it. Now it is time to write the letter F. I need to make sure that this letter F is nice and thick. This way, every single villager will be able to read it really easily. Easily. And finally, the letter C. The letter C looks really weird as being boxy, so I need to make it slightly curvy in these edges, but that could cost me extra time that I'm not sure I have. How much time do I have left now, Milo? One, two, I need to quickly add foundations to these walls just so that they don't fall over. If this falls over on the customers, I'll totally lose all of them and go out of business forever. I really hope I can do this in time. Yeah. Milo, your counting is stressing me out. Well, you should be stressed out because the villagers are almost here. Don't worry, Milo. I'm not stressed out because I've just finished this entire KFC. I'm ready for any villagers that could come. Are you? Uh Milo, look! The customer villagers are already lining up outside your KFC! You better give me a tour quick so I can check there's nothing wrong. Alright, come inside! Okay, this place is looking exactly the same as it did last time. Milo, you still spelled kitchen wrong! What? I don't know how to spell it, so I was just guessing, okay? Uh-oh. How is anybody going to know where to order the food if they can't even read it? An order here? Milo, that's not even how you spell order. What Totally stressing me out right now. 
Why are there snowmen in the kitchen, Milo? Mom, they're the workers. The workers? Milo, why have you hired snowmen? Aren't they just going to freeze all the food? No, they're really good and smart. Okay, and Milo, what is this? This is some snacks that you can order. Milo, these look like moldy beans. <laughs> Okay, um, I guess that makes sense. But why is there a painting gallery in the eating area? Well, so that you can look at some nice things while you're eating. It makes it feel really luxury. There's also grass spreading across the floor. And is this whole building made out of dirt, Milo? Yeah, because it's my favorite material. What's wrong with it? Oh, no, I don't think these customers are going to like it, Milo. And wait, what's this room? Well, What? Milo, this is horrible. This is so cramped. Why don't the workers have their own houses? Well, this is their house, all right? I can't give them everything. Oh, my goodness, Milo. This is crazy. I really don't think the villagers are going to like this. What are these? These are my buttons for the drive-thru. This takes the order. This makes the order. This sends it over to my little snowman friends. This one is just for fun. Did you hook these buttons up to anything at all? No. Oh, no, Milo, this is terrible. Your dive throw is not going to deliver any food to these villager customers. It will, Chip. You have to trust me. These customers are going to love my place. Okay, why don't you start taking the customers in and I'll keep watch. Luckily, none of them have shown up to my KFC yet. My customers must still be coming. It's because they like my KFC the best because it's the prettiest. Look, Milo, one of the villagers is already coming inside. Oh, hey. He says he wants a chicken bucket meal and a Coke. That's all good. Here's your chicken meal. Milo, that's not a chicken meal. That's raw chicken. You can't be serving this to customers. That's not safe. Oh, no. Okay, I just need to get some cooked chicken. All right, here's some cooked chicken in. There you go, Sam. How do you cook anything when the whole kitchen is covered in snow? Well, they keep everything cold, but when they want to cook something, they really know how to. Wait, he liked it, Milo. You did a really good job. Yeah, this is awesome. Hey, what's he doing in the kitchen? Yeah, he, uh, he wants another snack. Okay, that's good, I guess. Now it's time to take the orders for the other customers. Who's next? Look, Milo, here he is. Hi, sir. What can I get for you? He's facing away, but he says he wants three burger meals with milkshakes. Huh? What? Milo, you just threw the frog spawn on the floor. You can't serve it to him now. No, it's too late. I don't have anything else to give him. He's just going to have to take that. This is terrible. He's not going to like that at all, Milo. Well, goodbye, sir. Thanks for coming to Milo's KFC. He's going in the kitchen. Oh, these villagers are crazy. These are the worst customers I've ever seen. No wonder who's coming here next. Look, Milo, here they are. And wait, there are three of them. Oh, this is They're ordering for a big football team, and they're making a really big order, he says. Oh, my gosh, ten chicken burger meals, three bucket meals, and five nugget meals, two teas, extra sweet. Ah, what am I going to do? I'm going to have to give you this and this and just so many chickens. Milo, you're hitting him in the face with the chicken. And was that beetroot soup and seeds? Yeah. No, Milo, that's not his order at all. And the chicken's on the floor again. That's not safe. You're going to poison these guys. Oh, my gosh. This is terrible. What am I going to do? But hang on, Chip. I think they're actually liking it. Oh, goodness. No, they did not like that at all. Well, I'm still pretty confident. Mine's really good, and it'll definitely be yours. They're coming into the kitchen to try and hurt you, Milo. Look, they rated your cooking a 1.2. Two out of five. One point two. Oh no, this is really bad. Milo, your KFC was not rated good at all. That only means the one KFC left to rate is mine. I better serve these customers so well to make sure I do not have to have anything bad happen to me or my KFC. All right, I guess we should go over to your stinky KFC and see what's going on. And whoa, look, Milo, there are a bunch of villager customers outside. Oh my gosh, they're already here. Well, you better try better than me, Chip.
Yep. I know I will, Milo. I'm right behind the counter and I'm ready for them to come in. All right, villagers, come inside. I am ready to take whatever orders you could possibly throw at me. Look, Milo, there's one already. Hello, sir. How can I interest you in ordering from my KFC today? I wonder what he's going to say. Whoa, he says he wants some chicken and a side of fries. Sure, sir, I can totally do that. Let me go grab some chicken. I think by chicken, he definitely wants a KFC chicken bucket. And let me just cook that over the stove really quick. Perfect. Okay, now it is nice and warm. I also need to grab some fries from the fry shelf. Let me put these above the hot boiling oil. Whoa, yep, those are definitely frying. Now that they're nice and golden brown and crispy, I can give them to this villager. Here you go, sir. Here are your items. I really hope you enjoy. Wow, look, he's got them. He loved them, Milo. He even left me a tip. That is so cool. Hey, don't go in the kitchen area. That's really bad. What the, what is he doing? Hey, you can't stand on the shelf. Although, in your KFC, Milo, you left those villagers and did not let them go where they wanted to. Maybe if I let these villagers do whatever they want in my KFC, I will get a higher rating. Oh, no, that stinks. I really don't want you to get a higher rating. I do. So, villager sir, you can keep standing on the chicken as much as you like. As long as you rate my KFC a 5 out of 5. Hey, Chip, look! Another customer. Hi, sir. What can I get you today? He says he wants a... Uh... He's still deciding, I think. He wants a chicken bucket and a... It's okay, sir. Take as long as you need. Yeah, he's taking forever. Yeah, what? He wants a chicken bucket and some burger chips and an orange soda. I don't have an orange soda. Oh, gosh. I just have to make this customer happy, though. Uh, yes, sir. I can totally get you an orange soda. First, I'm just going to get a really big chicken bucket. And I also need to grab a burger and chips. I think that means fries. Perfect. Now, I need to find a way to get an orange soda. I don't know much about orange soda, but if I grab all these orange items, maybe I can combine them? I don't know how much time I have. Chip, he's waiting! Oh goodness, this is bad. Okay, I'll just try and put all the orange materials together on this bench, and uh oh, it's not doing anything. Wait a second, I know, we can get a potion of fire resistance. This looks really orange. Let me get rid of all these items. Luckily, I have really well-built storage that I can put all of it inside. This way, the only items I need to have are the items fit for this customer. Here you go, sir. Here is your orange soda, your KFC chicken bucket meal, fries, and a chicken burger. I hope you definitely enjoy. <laughs> That is amazing, Milo. These villagers are loving my food more than I ever thought they would. I am such a good restaurant owner, and I really hope they see that. Look, Milo, he even got a job working at the frying station. That's how much he loves it here. What the? This is crazy! I can't believe you're beating me so far, but I'm sure something will go wrong. No way. I don't know how many villagers' orders there are left, but I need to do all of them perfectly. Look, Milo, there are villagers coming in right now. Uh, Chip, there's a lot of them. What? I only see one. Uh-oh, never mind. There are three villagers here, and this one's on the bench. That must mean he's a really crazy customer. Okay, he wants two chicken buckets, some wings, fries, Mountain Dews. Oh, no. They need to get some for their dad as well. They're increasing their order. They want three buckets, two wings, and four Diet Mountain Dews and fries? Yeah, this is You'll never be able to do that, and they're gonna rate you really low. No way. Okay, sir, I can get you all of those things. Just enjoy your time on this bench, and I will be right back with your full order. Okay, so they wanted some chicken wings first. Luckily, I have all of these wonderful chicken buckets cooking, and I guess I can also give them an amazing bucket meal. I'll upgrade them to an extra meal so that they get a little bit nicer with their voting. I also need to grab some fries. Let's put one out on the table and grab another. Now, we have two. We just need to properly fry them first. Okay, while these are nice and sizzling, I need to make sure we grab everything else they wanted. I think they wanted four fries, actually, so we better get two more pieces of fries sizzling on that fryer. Perfect! They also wanted Mountain Dew. Hey, Milo, did you throw frog spawn in my restaurant? I don't know what you're talking about! Keep this out of my kitchen. No frog eggs are gonna be inside of here. That's just gross. What? Chip. Okay, I need to find a Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew has a crazy color, so if I grab these potions of night vision, they basically look exactly like Mountain Dew. Those fries should be done by now as well. I think I heard them say they also wanted a burger. Oh no, I don't remember. Milo, if I get this order even slightly wrong, they will not rate my KFC a five star, and that means it won't be perfect and something bad could happen. Yeah, and also I'll probably 
beat you. This is awesome. No way. Okay, I have to rack my brain. They said they wanted two chicken wing buckets, four Mountain Dews, as well as four fries, but they wanted three of something else. Oh, I know exactly what they wanted. They wanted three chicken buckets. Luckily, I have three chickens right here. I just need to grab three buckets. Let me grab some right now. Okay, perfect. I have three buckets and we can give them the chicken as well. Perfect. We'll take each of these and okay, sir, I have your entire order. I really hope I got this right and that you will be able to rate my KFC a five-star experience. First, I have four Mountain Dews just for you. What? Yeah, how did you even make those? Milo, it's all part of my process. I can make anything if I put my work into it. It's just part of the amazing restaurant that this is. Here you go, sir. Have all four of these Mountain Dews. Next, you ordered two chicken wing buckets just like this. I will give both of them to you and one of them is even upgraded to a bucket meal. This means you get even more value for your purchase. I do remember you also said you wanted four fries. Is that right, Milo? Well, I don't really remember. It's your restaurant. Yeah, it is my restaurant. So I do remember and I remember he wanted four fries. Here you go. He also wanted one final thing and I will make it right in front of you, sir. On this grill, I will remove these raw chickens because this needs to be a cooked chicken zone only. I will put down three buckets just like this and to all three of the buckets I will add cooked chicken. Now if my stove is good enough these will combine into chicken bucket meals. Oh yeah this is perfect. I've done it Milo. Once I give this to this villager and if my order is correct he will rate it a five star. Oh no I hope it's bad. No way it's gonna be perfect. Here are your three chicken buckets. One two three. Oh, wow. Milo, they love it. They're saying thanks again. What the? This isn't good. And they're going into the eating area to eat it all together. And look, Milo, I got a five out of five score. What? Oh, my gosh. That's not fair. I wanted to win a KFC challenge. I won. My amazing pro KFC made all these customers happy, and it definitely was the best KFC ever. I don't know about your KFC, Milo. I think it's going to get shut down. No! Woohoo! Yeah, I totally won.